Hello, welcome to the fifth exercise and the twelfth uh, screencast in this series, Rules Mastery. Uh, this is the suggested solution for how to give points to uh, people who write content that other people like. So that means if I click this like button, then some points could, should go to this test2 user. And uh, we should award two points for each uh, like click to someone, and that's, uh, well, this is a pretty straightforward, straightforward exercise, so I'm not going to talk very much about it. We have all the uh, necessary uh, events and, and data and so on available, so we can just go on and, and do this. And to do this, I will use a new reaction rule. Here is uh, my list of reaction rules, and I can add a new one, add new rule. And the most important thing here for when, when adding new reaction rules is this react on event thing that uh, tells uh, rules which hook, which Drupal hook this uh, uh, event should react on. Somewhere along the page execution cycle, uh, a hook might get invoked and then this uh, reaction rule will be invoked. And there, uh, the flag module here provides a number of uh, events. One of them is a node has been flagged under like. That's the one we want to use. So let's give this uh, a name as well. Drupal points for likes. For being liked is probably better because it's uh, the liked user uh, that is uh, awarded points. Let's give this my standard Drupal tag here. Well, a uh, uh, rules tag for uh, Drupal points so I can keep track of them. And save. And here we could add some conditions saying that we should only award um, uh, a user with points if for the first three likes or first five likes or something. I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to show you that it's possible. If I add a condition here, I could use a data comparison. And I'm pretty sure that there is flag here. No. Uh, I thought we had the number of, um, maybe it's here, the number of uh, flags on it. Flag count, no it's not here, okay I might be wrong. Well anyways I didn't want to add this so uh, I'm just confusing you, sorry. And a uh, note has been flagged under like, uh, no conditions, but we're gonna add an action here and we will use the component that we created some time ago, exercise 3, award Drupal points. So I select this one. Uh, which user do I want to award with Drupal points? Well, we have here the flag node, and we have the author of the flag node when we drill down into this node. We could uh, drill further down here into other uh, parts of, of this object, but we're stopping at this flag node author. And we are awarding two points for this. Save. Cool. And that's it. Uh, this will uh, give, well, this is almost it. This will give two points to the test2 user when I like this. Let's click here and reload. We should see, yep, the test2 user now has uh, 19 Drupal points. If I stop liking it and liking it again, we have 21 points on the test2 user. Uh, and this is not really the behavior that we want, so, so we want to have another reaction rule that subtracts two points when you uh, stop liking something. So let's add that one as well. Going back here into rules, now we can actually uh, uh, clone this rule that we have already. So let's do that. So we can save some some uh, configuration time. Drupal points for being uh, for stop being liked. Something like that. Save changes. A node has been flagged under like. Let's add a new event here. Uh, has been unflagged under like. Let, let's actually see what happens if I try to remove this one first. I don't think I can. Because, well, I could, okay. And now some data here is missing. It says, oh, you want to uh, do something with a flag node author, but you don't have that and data available. So I'm adding a new event and 
I'm going to use this node has been unflagged under like and add. And now it works again because we have the exact same uh, data provided by, by this event as we had before. So let's edit uh, this uh, rule set, um, well, this, this component here and add minus two points to the user when we stop liking a piece of content. So let's see here. The test user has 21 points now. If I stop liking this, the test to user now has 19 Drupal points. And that's it. Uh, liking and stopping to like content awards um, users with uh, points. We will see in the next screencast how you can do this and award points to the uh, person liking something, clicking this like flag. And it turns out that this is uh, pretty complex because uh, the full user object is not provided to rules when, when, um, for, for the uh, clicking user, the flagging user. So we have to do something fancy to do that. And I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm, and I'm also going to show you how I did when debugging this. So you can uh, perhaps learn something from that when you debug rules configuration yourself. But this is it for now. Uh, see you in the next exercise. Bye.